Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys 10 awesome iOS 14 home screen widgets that you must have on your device. Another awesome thing is the like button right down below this video. So make sure you leave a like on this video as it really does help out a lot on my channel. So let's get started. Here are 10 amazing iOS 14 home screen widgets that you must download in 2021. All right, starting things off with Smart Battery. Now this is a new widget that I really, really like. What it does, it shows you how much battery you have left on your device. But not just that, it will show you how many hours you have with that percentage to listen to music, watch video, have a phone call, or play games on your iPhone. So you can see we have three different types of widgets. We have two smaller ones. This one shows that in circles, just like the activity app on the Apple Watch, it looks really beautiful. And you can see the little icons which indicate which circle is which. And then you have that one, and we have the medium one here, the same with the circles, but it also shows you right there the percentage of battery and also how many hours you have left to do each of the tasks on your device on iOS 14. Next up, we have an app called Follow Me. Now this one allows you to see the amount of followers you have on your social media. Not just that, on the medium one, it will also show you every day how much followers you have gained or lost and on the smaller one, it will show you the number of followers right here. And of course, it will show you your account as well as your profile picture as well. And you can see those little icons indicating on which app you have this widget. Now, if you go into the app, right here, you will have the ability to add your accounts. You tap the plus button and from here, you can add your Instagram. You have Twitter, you have YouTube, TikTok, Twitch, you have Telegram, GitHub, and you have Pinterest as well, Patreon as well. So you have a bunch of different accounts from different social media that you can add to this widget. Now, once you have added one of these widgets, all you gotta do is just three to touch on it. And from here, tap on edit widget. And then you can go ahead and choose here the account that you want to display on that widget. And you have also the color scheme here. So you can use light or dark, or you can just choose to use the default system one. Next up is an app called Lacuna. Now this one is also so related to social media, exactly Instagram. What it does, it shows you pictures from your Instagram feed right on the home screen of your device. So here I have one for my Instagram feed and what you can do here is just go into the app and then from there you can go ahead and just log in on your Instagram account and then it will show you these pictures from that feed of that account. Now if you 3D touch right here on the widget, you can tap on edit widget and you can choose to show the username of the picture which is being displayed. You can choose the username style right here and of course you can choose the refresh frequency right here. So how fast you want that to refresh on the home screen. Now you can add this or you can add a smaller one or a medium one on the home screen. Next up, we have CPU X. Now CPU X is an awesome app that gives you a ton of different details regarding your device. So here we have CPU X. This is the app. You have here all the different details you need to know regarding your device from the processor, general information regarding your device, the camera, network, battery, all that and has awesome widgets for the home screen. So here I have a few of those. It has like, I believe nine or 10 widgets that you can add. So we have a medium one, where it shows the data usage on my device. So here I have the mobile data and the Wi-Fi, and right there it shows how much we have used during the day. So you can see here on Wi-Fi as well as mobile. Now we have a smaller one that does basically the same thing. And we have another one here which shows information like general information regarding the device like the user of the device the model of the device it shows the weight and also the release date of that certain device next up is health widget now, it's a shame that apple doesn't offer a stock widget from the health app but with health widget now you can have those right here on the home screen of your device now here we have two of those we have one that shows the calories burned so you have the calories burned for the day and then you have the total of the week right there at the bottom you have the same for steps here it shows the steps that you did during this day and of course they will be updated as you do more during the day and then lower here you have the week 
how much you have done through the week. Now you can also add your heart rate. So if you have an Apple Watch and have it paired with your iPhone, you can have that and it will display your heart rate right on the home screen of your device. And also you have one to show the blood oxygen. If you have the new Apple Watch, which is able to measure that, you can have that as well on the home screen. Next up, we have Widget. Now, this is by far my favorite iOS 14 home screen widget. Now, I know I've put this on a lot of videos, but I always put it because it's always like something new with Widget. Always it gets updated and the community of Widget on Reddit is just amazing. And we have a ton of different widgets which are being created every day. And of course, every day we have a lot of new widgets to add from widget to the home screen like these two right here you can see that watch face right there it just looks amazing and this one right here a ton of different information on that small widget now if you didn't know about widget the way it works is that from the app here you can have like a ton of different widgets right here that you can add you can explore these and add them by going to manage you will have your slots here now if you use the free version you will only have one slot for each but if you get the paid version then you will have a bunch of different slots here from where you can go ahead and just add any of the widgets to that slot and then of course from the widgets panel just add it on the home screen now if you want to find new widgets you just go ahead and tap join the community and from here you will be able to find a ton of different widgets that of course have been created by the community and shared with the community right here and of course you can go ahead and just get the qr codes for those and make sure you go ahead and add them to your device now the way you add them is just go right here import widget and from the camera roll just load the qr code that you get from the widget community and you will have these beautiful widgets on the home screen of your ios 14 device next up is cloud battery now i did feature this one on a previous video as well but i had to put it on this one because this is just amazing and i love the idea of this widget now what it does it shows you the battery percentages of your devices devices that are connected to your iCloud but what you need to do is also install cloud battery on the devices which you want to actually monitor their battery like here i have my macbook and i have the app installed on the macbook as well so what you do you go to your device whether that's an apple watch an ipad or a mac install the app and once you have launched it then you will be able to basically just monitor the batteries of those devices from here and you can see i have here my iphone and my mac as well Next up, we have an app called Sometime. Now, Sometime allows you to just add different tasks that you need to do daily, or maybe, maybe even just a reminder to do something once, and it will show them, of course, on the widgets. So here I have a few tasks that I have, one that I have upcoming. You can see we have a bunch of different sizes and different informations being di displayed on these widgets. Like this one right here only shows your most like recent task that you have to do like ver very soon and you can see right there we have 16 hours to take the medicine and you can just basically set up these reminders to remind you every day so that you don't forget to do something the next one is called favorites now this is a very useful one as well it allows us to pick any of your contacts and have them on widgets right here on the home screen so that of course you can call them from there not just call message as well so here we have the two by four widget in, in which we can have four different contacts and of course call them from there and then we have here the smaller one now what i like about this is that you don't have to have a bunch of them if you have like three or four favorite contacts that you want to have on the home screen you can add them so once you go ahead and add the widget you basically just 3d touch on it tap on edit widget and choose the contact and the action whether you want to call them or text them once you have done that then of course you can just make them like this so turn them into a stack and you will have your favorite contacts right there and from here of course you can make a call or just go ahead and send them a message and last but not least is an app called app shortcut now this one is really interesting it allows us to add icons as home screen widgets 
I don't know if that's really useful, but what I like about this idea is that you can actually use them from the lock screen. So when you go right here on the left side, you will have these icons and just like that, you can have your favorite apps here and of course launch them directly from here. So let's just unlock this. So just like that, you can go ahead and just launch any app you want directly from the lock screen. And that's really, really interesting. Now, the way it works, you go to the app and what you need to do here is just go ahead and find the apps. Tap the plus button and search for any app you want. And once you add them to the list here, you add the home screen widget. You can just 3D touch in it, tap on edit widget, tap on shortcut and choose right there, whichever app you want to display on that widget. So that is it for this video guys, these are some of the best iOS 14 home screen widgets that you must download on your device in 2021. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like if you did, also don't forget to subscribe for more videos and I will see you on the next one.